Ladies and gentlemen, I'm John. I'm Brooke. It's good evening. Oh shit. It's late. <laughs> we have been doing 494 all it's day fun. and woo! It was a big day. A good um, we ran, like we literally mixed up over a ton of concrete today. Um, nine mixes total. We casted beams and um, cylinders. Time set. What else are we doing? Sat. All kinds of good stuff. So um, it was a little trying, but we got through it slow and steady. Um, and it was a nice day out, so that was helpful. What else do you want to say there, Johnny? Um, well, first of all, don't call me Johnny. <laughs> what time is it? We have three more mixes to do 616 on Wednesday, so we're not quite done, but two thirds of the way done, over two thirds. Do another 15 minutes? Uh, yeah, so. Okay, so. That's good. Is it my it turn? Is, yeah. So, um, 494. What would y'all say is the hardest part of the 494? The For me, hardest. it's throwing mixes into the mixer. Yeah. And then being patient and let it do its job. Sure. I'd say um, probably like prepping, just bringing all the material out and then. I, I don't know, making the samples isn't as bad because it's like small portions at a time. Well, and we also had a team managing. Yeah. Team so, managing, and there was three to four of us making samples. So, so how many? We had five people here today? Six people? Five. Five, five people? No, six. Well, I think five well, people five around, people. yeah. Um, and um, we had two people dedicated to managing where the concrete went and what samples needed to be filled up, just to make sure we weren't screwing up the 494 management plan. Right. So, I really like 494. Yeah, I think that was helpful because you get, you're kind of in like mixing and making mindset, and it's hard, you know, you're trying to move through that as quickly but mindfully as possible when there's, what, 20, beam molds out it's like Indeed. what what you know what goes right. where and oh. so that was very helpful and they labeled it wonderfully too so what, what was the worst part of the day oh come on easy it's an easy one every for that me, mix that just wouldn't set for me it was this morning when i got a little flustered because i um was bringing out admixtures and i had to like double check myself and for a split second I freaked out thinking I didn't weigh something up. Which, but yeah. it's it's for. Well, what that's what happens. So. You're doing so many mixes, and we ended up having to throw out three mixes yeah. at 450 pounds each, yeah. plus the butters. Yeah. So, uh, you know, and that that to me is the hardest part, or the hardest pill to swallow, because when you have to throw out a mix, you're throwing out an hour's worth of work at a minimum. Yeah. And it is... And tacking on a good 45 minutes on the... Set time set? Other end. Well, no. I'm going to have to re-weigh up all those mixes, you know, that we pulled from. Weigh mm -hmm. up butter mixes, so... And j just to be fair, the method that Brooke uses, it's a lot easier to weigh it up. So she doesn't have to start from scratch. And that's part of our trade secret. Trade secret? Um, okay. So the way we weigh things up, we plan for failure. Well, we... we yeah, we are, we're... We have backups. So we had, that we had a three quick recovery. backups. Yeah, quick recovery. And it was boom, boom, oh, throw out a mix, fine. Pull the wheelbarrow out, get the next mix set up. Like that was, to me, that was the best part of the day, which is okay, we had the failure, but how quickly, especially with this type of mix, this type of day, you, you have no choice but to recover. Yeah. Oh, it was awesome. Yeah. And even with that quick recovery, it's almost a 12 hour day. That's all. You know? Well, so. for some of us, it's going to be like a 17 hour day. Yeah.
said. Have a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Ding the bell for notifications. Go Conquering!